From video game footage going viral as deadly fighting to misleading claims about the suffering in Gaza, Logically Facts has uncovered a staggering 782 misinformation narratives during the first year of the Israel-Hamas conflict. Our data showed that visual content was the most frequently used technique for spreading misinformation. Over 86% or 678 narratives were shared with edited, faked, and misattributed videos and images that flooded online platforms. Video was overwhelmingly the chosen medium for sharing misinformation, and the most frequently misidentified technique involved actual footage that was misattributed. We found seven common themes of misinformation, starting with operational events. This involves narratives supposedly related to military actions or claims involving the actors in the conflict. Next is human devastation, referring to narratives supposedly showing the humanitarian consequences of war, such as loss and suffering among civilians. Next is support, encompassing narratives showing external backing for either side, including military, diplomatic, civil society, celebrity, and business support. Then we have discrediting, which includes claims aimed at undermining political leadership or their decisions and dehumanizing either Palestinians or Israelis. There is also civil unrest, which captures narratives of instability within Israel or Palestine, emphasizing political and cultural divisions. Next is staging, involving narratives questioning the authenticity of events and claims of faked injuries or exaggerated media representations. Finally, U.S.-Israel relations highlights narratives emphasizing the strong ties between the U.S. and Israel, reflecting the impact of the conflict on American civil society. We identified six common techniques for how the narratives were disseminated. One, misattributed footage, where real videos are incorrectly labeled, causing confusion. Two, fabricated content impersonating authentic news or statements from an official authority. Three, AI-generated video and images. Four, video game footage. Five, edited and digitally altered videos and pictures, altering footage to change context or meaning. Six, non-visual claims made primarily through text and speech, not visuals. Reflecting on these findings, it's clear that people are especially vulnerable to misinformation in times of conflict. While social media platforms attempt to handle harmful content, their algorithms often fall short when managing misinformation. Under such conditions, being aware of misinformation tactics is crucial for establishing truth. Want to know more? Head to logicallyfacts.com for our deep dive and all the insights.